Hey, we're back for more. Oh, I've got to lean forward and hurt my back. Sorry, I knocked the microphone. Right, okay, so let's go to the old man. You all right? Yeah. You have a little... little oh, shit, you're... you're, you're little ones. You're bursting. You're beginning to burst. Right, I need to go find... I assume it's this. Ooh, that was a... Oh. Oh. I think it's crashed. You're right. <laughs> no! Why is it crashed at the start of an episode as well? I'm just going to take a mournful swig of coffee. Mm. Oh, why is it done that? Right, okay. We're just, just going to reset it and find out. Oh, it probably doesn't auto-save because it's an old game. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Da 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 Oh, maybe. A little bit and nothing. What have I got? Holy shit, this game has autosave? What the fuck? This came out in like 1993. And then there was like just 10 years of no autosave, I swear. There's like PS1 and PS2 games that don't do this. I mean, I'm not complaining. Alright, let's see what happens when I go back into that fucking thing again. That was fucking whack. Um, I've recently discovered a fun little thing. Um, there's so you know, obviously, there's like esports and like championships that are held to video games. Yeah. There's one that's held specifically for the NES version of Tetris, and it was once previously thought impossible to get to level 30. But people have started doing that because we're like in this online age of the internet. Uh, people obviously can get together and figure out strategies of how to get way better at Tetris. Yeah. Because at level 30, it moved, the pieces move down so fast that you can't, like, be, you know, like, oh. Them, yeah, yeah. yeah, you've basically got to be, like, almost automatic. And they hold the controller, like, like this, like, wait, like, like this. It's fucking weird. Like, this, like, light tapping, they call it, or something, to make it go super fast. That's what was meant to happen, yeah. I thought it was weird. Um, but, yeah, but the, last year, they, there was, so there's this guy called Jonas. Um, not the, not of the Jonas Brothers. Um, you were going there, oh, weren't I was you? Going, going there. Got him! Got him. Put the one with the whale. Oh, I don't know. I don't understand that reference. But um, anyway, so he uh, he was like one of the reigning champions for this championship. He did the best. He was the best boy. He lost like once. And then this 16 year old kid, just like, who like just saw it online, was like, that looks cool. I'd like to give that a go. Just came out of nowhere, worked his way through the ranks, and won. And I was watching the video of it, of the final battle, and it was fucking the best! And then, when they're talking to them afterwards, the guy Jonas, who lost, was just like, Yeah, man, I'm, you know, yeah, I, I know I lost, but it's really cool just to see this young 16 year old kid, you know, come in and just have, you know, new blood. It's fucking cool. He was so graceful, it was the best. I loved it. And I love that fucking Tetris on NES has got a championship. Best. Do you like Tetris or not? I never really enjoyed Tetris. Are you joshing me? No, I didn't. Why not? Yeah. Do you not like puzzly games though? I like puzzly games, but it's not a puzzle game really. It's just a I'd say reaction it is. game. It's like yeah, a reaction puzzle game. Well, it's not. It is because you can to work out. It's just well, you got to work out the best placement of all the pieces of what's thrown at you. That's what makes it so fun, dude. Mm. You got to work it out to then get Tetris, so then it clears the line, and you're trying to get the best possible score. It's when you get in that zone. Have you played Pio Pio? No. Uh, it's sort of similar, but, but but you'd probably recognise it if you saw it. I can't believe you don't like Tetris. I hope Oscar likes Tetris. I want to play Tetris on the show. The, I remember I played Tetris so often as a kid. I fucking love Tetris. The fucking Tetris. D I don't care that you don't. Like, I'm going to talk about Tetris a lot now. The fucking Tetris game in the DS with the Nintendo theming. That was great. There's all sorts of Nintendo remixes. I can't believe you don't like Tetris. That's very upsetting for me. What, what, oh shit, I want to know what the magic does to this guy. <laughs> Whoa. Turned him into a ball bag, man. Yeah, just ball bagged out. But anyway, yeah, I love that. And I've been watching the Overwatch League, where all the pros play. And that's fucking boring. You know when everyone's doing the same picks because there's like one prevailing meta and nothing really works as good as it, so everyone's just doing the same thing. So interesting. Sound like Overwatch. Oh shit. Well the thing is, I mean there was like metas like that before. I just realised I didn't look at the map of where I have to go after talking to the old man. That probably would have helped instead of just aimlessly wandering around in the world. Um But yeah, obviously there was like dive meta before that and stuff, and now there's goats, but it's just 
Yeah, it drives me insane because the game's like promoted as being like play this game where you get to like play a variety of different you know team ups and like you know div diverse gameplay. Every match is different, and then you watch the esports and it's just everything's the same. Yeah, I suppose it's always going to have that problem though. Where yeah, there'll always be, especially in a team based game. Yeah, I don't think you could ever balance it when it's that competitive. There'll always be a yeah. best way of doing it. I think also why well, it doesn't help that. I mean, they have recently the, they've got a new hero coming in, and um, I need to do this before I forget. Oh shit, yeah, I went the complete wrong way. Um, they've released a new hero and they're doing a huge balance change again to make things different, so I'm hoping that changes it. Because then you get like that six month period where there isn't a prevailing meta, so you do get interesting gameplay and different decisions. But, um, but that said, I feel like Smash Brothers is super well balanced. Like yeah, ultimate, but I think if it was ultimate. a team thing, that would be... Agreed. A... Yeah, agreed. I agree with that, yeah. I would agree with you there, sir. Yeah. Even though your Samus pisses me off. Like, I don't think she's overpowered, even though I might sometimes scream it when I'm angry. But uh, everyone just feels way nicely balanced. Way nice boys. Ah, so even like the old useless. What am I doing? I'm doing tremendously well. God, I'm so good at this game. Uh, not here. Go away. Stop. It's really distracting me that it, he's got... um. It looks like a medical sort of cross that he's got on, but I don't think it's meant to be that. I think it's meant to be like yeah, just quasi sort of religion, but not. It's probably edited out in like the other ones. Still, right. George's cross in it. See you later. Actually, it could be that. All right up we go. Right, where am I? Am I going the right? Yeah, I am slowly going the right way. Uh, another good thing about Breath of the Wild, by the way, is that. Um, uh, when you're heart on down on one heart, it eventually just fades out. Not like after two seconds, rather than just this mm. over and over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he nearly. Can we go in any dungeon on this one, or is it probably in order? Uh, I think we have. Well, actually, I could be. Oh no! So we can go in any order, but we're here now, so. No, well, it's probably best we go in the right order. Yeah, well, there's. Curious. We don't do what we did last time yet. There is and isn't. This one, there isn't a right order of this one, I, I don't think. Um, but obviously, this is. I think in terms of difficulty scaling, there's like, yeah. Uh, um, I'm gonna hand it to you now. So, so much health, thank you. That's all right. So this is to do a, a slow slash. Um, this is to to just use whatever in your item box there. Right. I'll change it to a boomerang so you don't use up all our magic. Okay. Have okay. an explore. Please find some hearts so the noise stops. It's infuriating. Thank you. That's alright. Thank you for being so polite about it. Oh, Jesus, my back. I don't like that you get the coins and pick them up. I like just getting from breaking it. Uh, yeah, I can agree with that. I'm, I'm wondering if it was just a technical thing. But it's just probably easier just to have it pop up rather than... Why has that got a button? That why. Have a little explore. Yeah, I guess. Nice, nice. It teaches you that there's buttons that opens things. Get your hands on. Oh, no button there. Da -da, da -da. Boomerang not hurt people. No, it freezes. It stuns. Okay. I think there might be other uses for it later. I can't quite remember. Stuff. Getting girls. But you're not getting hearts. Sad, isn't it? God, I love this game. I like that everything freezes when you climb downstairs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a cheeky one. Yeah, it's a nice little cheeky one. Yeah, this one was also qu probably quite. It's probably quite wild and revolutionary to have like different levels and scales of 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 like a uh, a room, as in it's not just one floor. So it's sort of like it's working with like 3D in mind whilst not being actually 3D whatsoever. It's fucking clever shit. Oh, thank God the noise has stopped. Whoa. I'm really glad this coffee's taken away the Turkish like this. Spooky skeletons there. Yeah. Oh, this is such a good. Long range. This is. Yeah, well, no. This seems to hurt them a little bit. Maybe. I think maybe maybe it hurts them upon first contact. Yeah, these guys are weird. They do like a little jump, so you have to like basically, yeah, go into them. Not, but not. Well, romantically, if you want, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Whatever you want to do, friend. You can bounce. You can bounce on that. 
I really want to watch Flubber. I've been thinking about Flubber a lot ever since we mentioned it. It's a film, Reese, about. Uh, that's the shipping Oh, no, no, no. Uh, press your start button and select the bag. And then if you spray magic on it. And then press start again. And catch it with your net. Yep. There we go. Isn't that cool? Got some. Got some slavery. Well, now we just feel bad, don't we? Do we? Or maybe, we're, well, <laughs> but maybe it's um just you know just a little friend that we're taking with us, a little Pikachu maybe. I'm, 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 we need to watch the third Pokemon movie. Have you not? Have you generally never seen it? No, I haven't. I think I might have seen bits. Bits, mate. Okay. You was the perspective one, can you? Was one to me a bit? Yeah. Um, it's a weird film. It's like almost creepy in a way, and like uh, surreal. So we should watch it. It's 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 not what you'd think anyone would make a film to be like, like as in Pokemon. So we we're gonna watch that for a minute. Thank you. Let's little press the button. Da, 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 da. Oh, sorry, microphone. I wonder why it had a little crash, but then again, these game cartridges are nearly like 30 years old. Oh. Reese! I nearly choked. Are you excited to go back to Japan? Um, yeah, but I don't want to get my hopes up again, so... What? I'd rather just get there and then be happy. <laughs> Wait till I get there, you know? <laughs> so worried about disappointed, aren't you? You were like this before the first time we went. Like, for like six months. I mean, it wasn't that long, but for six months, I kept on like walking into your room, going, "Going to Japan soon," and then you just look at me and go, "Yep." And that's the most I'd get out of you. Just, I was just like, Ugh. I was thinking about it the other day, like why well, I can't be happy about things anymore. <laughs> why, why, why? Wait, she said to you, "Why can't you be happy about things anymore?" Yeah, she was saying like because she, she asked, would ask me about Japan a lot as well. Yeah, she's like, you never got like excited in like a. Outwardly emotional way. Yeah, yeah, like I was. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. She was just talking about my general lack of emotions altogether now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, I did find it a bit strange to be honest. I was thinking, like, obviously I know you're not going to be like me, being like, <laughs> but I was thinking you'd have a bit more, uh, flair to you. <laughs> That's such an inappropriate word to use for you. Um, this is just the old man wizard going, Link, do a thing! But we can't read it. It doesn't really matter. He's just giving advice. But the dungeon's not that hard. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to remember. Like, I don't think even on the night of it, when we were going to the airport, you were particularly jazzy boy. No, because he just, just waited until he got there, wasn't he? When he got there and we landed, he had a little smiley boy. Actually, yeah, no. Yeah, the airport, literally, as soon as we were in the airport, you were. You were like that. I mean, I know I definitely was. Um... Oh shit. But yeah, I, it was literally that we walked off the plane and we um, had some lovely Japanese staff like saying konnichiwa and all that Five stuff. Five stars before we knew that was a thing. I know. There were some wonderful people introducing us to their country and then just over the tannoy, just lovely Japanese just announcements and we, every single time we'd hear it, we'd look at each other and go, yeah, it's best. We loved it, even though we had to go through the long, like, immigration process and all that stuff. It, it was. Wasn't, it wasn't that long. It was quite. It was pretty breezy, yeah, I guess. For what it was, yeah, yeah. it was nice. Yeah. But um, yeah. Fuck. Now I'm getting all sad and wistful because I'm just thinking about Japan. This happens to me nearly on a daily basis. Where I'll be sitting there, think about something we did in Japan, and then I'll be like, for a split oh. second, I'm like, enjoying remembering it, and then I'll get really sad. So that's good. That's nice to have in your life. So you excited? <laughs> well, what would you hypothetically be excited to do when you're back in Japan? I don't know, the main Need thing I wanted for to it. do was just like go see Joel again. That was the main <laughs> thing for the first time getting back there. Yeah. But just see him again. Which is what we did. We did it and it was surreal to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> just like this weird little... You did have that thing where you barely spoke to him at the start and I was speaking to him more. And it was the first time I'd ever met him. By the way, just for content, this is like... This was like... He was your best friend, basically, wasn't he? Whoa! That's mean. Doubled up. 
Nice. Right. Um, well, but you were really close mates, basically. Yeah, he was basically like the only good family. Okay. <laughs> God, it's point. getting deep again. We just like, yeah, we were just like brothers essentially. Okay. Well, okay, just so like, it was actually better than the best friends. Yeah, we basically just spent every day together and did everything together. Wanted to pee in the same girl, but not at the same time. I mean, hey, don't limit yourself. As long as it's all consensual. Um, I don't think she consented to either of us. Well, we you, didn't do yeah, it. I was, was going to gonna say, do you want to clarify the statement? Um, yeah, but yeah, so... Bars in the head. But yeah, obviously, yeah, so you, you guys were like super fucking close, and then ten years, and then you finally hang out again, and you just barely... And I knew it was going to happen, I knew you were barely going to speak and stuff. I know, but... It's weird, because it's like, you don't want a small talk. But you can't just, you've got to unpack, like you said. You yeah. <laughs> you've got to I'm unpack. coming from there, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, there's nothing else in this room, I don't think. The, the bomb. <laughs> nah. Um, I feel like you were a bit like that of Oscar as well. But even Oscar was saying that he felt a bit weird at the start. And I only felt weird in that I just felt. Oh, you got a key now? Alright. Yeah. See? Oh, you're using it, yeah. Um, I felt surreal at the start just because one, I was in Japan, the place that I've been dreaming of going for like most of my life, and then two, I was Oscar was there who I hadn't seen in two years, and Oscar was like I was just used to seeing Oscar nearly every day in my house, even though he didn't live there. So <laughs> it was like that was surreal. Um, but then I quickly just got used to it and was just happy. And yeah, and then me and Jaw slowly became good buds. It's good, and then whenever I'd eat Japanese food and go, oh, I like that, he's Japanese! Love that, I miss that. I want to be able to eat food and someone tell me that I'm Japanese, even though I'm not. That's why I had to get used to again, just like the... Not... They are fucking strong. Ugh. Yeah, no, you need... Oh, I wonder what's in it, actually. Yeah, give him a little puff. Oh, shit, does it not do anything? Oh, okay, you can't do it, no. Not those ones. Uh, there's probably something you have to do later. For now, oh, just have a little explore. The enemies. Maybe, maybe that little pentagram. Oh Ooh. shit! Whoa! Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, don't, you don't need to because you're using up magic, so you know, maybe, maybe you just don't. Nice. But um, yeah. I mean, it was the it was the night where we went. We're just like just remincing at this point. We have a nice little remince episode, um, which means it's gonna be bumper length because this episode's already long. But it was when we went to the I'm darts. No, but is there stuff below? Did you look fully below? Down in the below of the room? Oh, I can do <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what did you get out of the chest? A uh, key for the chest, for the big boy chest. Oh, okay, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, you can do stuff for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was when we went to the darts bar. I think that was the night when everyone became comfortable with each other. Like, that's when I was like, yeah, I, li I like Jaw. Like, before, <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, he seems cool, he seems nice. But that was the night where I was like, okay, yeah, this, this kid's fucking cool. Um, and I think that's when you also stopped being shy as fuck. So that was a good fucking night. Yeah, because it's hard because like you haven't seen each other for ten years. So what would you say? It's yeah. Like, do you like what you've been up to? It's like oh, we both have, we both have really shit things happen since we saw each other. Yeah. To talk about. And also, it. you look like you've yeah, been in a war, like... especially then because that's when like you hadn't had a proper haircut and you had a massive homeless mad beard. Right. Can I upload on this video the picture of us at that Dragon Ball thing? Yeah. Just yeah. so people can see how mad you look. Hello. I mean, you are pulling a face in it, but you just look so mental, and it's my favourite photo of you. Oh, I don't like this. What? It's cool. I like it, but I don't like it. It's hard to deal with, yeah. Uh, I think you can jump down into those... Po oh, well, oh, did you get... Wait, what did it give you? A big key? It gave us by an arrow. Oh. I didn't know you had a key. That's weird. Oh, well. Uh, if you select your lamp in the menu, then you can light those up. Light up, bitch! Sorry that I called you that, but, you know. You are what you are. I don't really need them all lit up, do I? Uh, it's probably best to, because I think they stay lit longer then. And then you won't have to deal with that stupid cone thing. Right, now you can go. Now you can kill. Be murderous. Just get fresh blood and see you in the next one.